uh, just a reminder, this is uh, amateur boxing from the Everton Park Sports Centre in Liverpool. It's the Merseyside and Cheshire region against Scotland. And next up for the uh, home side, if you like, Billy Potter from uh, Bridgefoot ABC. He's uh, a St Helens lad, is Billy. He'll be up against uh, Paul Greenhorn from the uh, Kelty Club north of the border. Yeah, Billy boxes for Bridgefoot Boxing Club, which is in Warrington. He's actually a St. Helens lad and he travels over to Warrington to train. Um, very strong boxer, box fighter Billy, quite a strong boy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bout number nine, 58 kilogram contest, three two minute rounds. Between and introducing in the red corner, representing Bridgefoot ABC and Merseyside and Cheshire, Billy Potter. <laughs> introducing in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Paul Greenhorn. <laughs> Potter in the red, Greenhorn in the blue. Southpaw. Yeah, another tall southpaw from Scotland. Oh, they must be breeding and <laughs> must be so. Uh, Billy actually boxed last week against a big tall southpaw like this kid. So he's got, you know, he, he knows uh, he, sh he knows to come about it, and he's a very strong boy. And he'll just come forward. He'll he look to throw. He'll look to throw his big bombs, and he's trying straight away. He's looking. He's uh, one thing for certain. With Billy Potter, he won't. There'll be nothing. You won't be asking what. If he's left anything in the ring at the end of the three, three rounds, because he's all action, he will keep going and have a go non-stop. Well, his opponent uh, likes to be known as the Kelty Assassin, which suggests that uh, he likes to give it a go too. So this could be interesting. Yeah, I think we'll, I think the pattern of the bout's just been set. Billy's going to be coming in, looking at the aggression. He's southpaw. He's going to look. He's going to look to counter him. He's just done it there as Billy was on his way. He's looking. He's going to counter with his left. He's going to look to counter with his left hand. Great shot, yeah. great shot from Billy. He's, 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 he's a very hard hitter. Be careful he doesn't get caught as he comes in. Yeah, he's think just hanging his chin out a little bit. He, do, he, do, he does, he's all excitement. He's, you know, he'll get people off the seats here in a minute today. He's, he's, he's never in a dull bout, never in a dull bout. So he's getting caught a bit, he's scoring a couple of good shots, he's getting caught as well. Yeah, be a good test for the old uh, scoring buttons, this one, as to how fast they can press them. Oh, definitely. I think it'll be quite high scoring by the end of this first round. A little bit more cat and mouse towards the end there, but uh, yeah, I think a bit pretty tired. much all action beforehand. Just get, get, grab him in a breather while he could. Greenhorn uh, happy to slump down onto his stool for a bit of a breather. It wasn't as high as we thought, red five, blue four. So they're obviously quicker than the judges. Yeah, the buttons couldn't quite cope with it, I think. That was good stuff, some uh, really good exchanges in that, real tit-for-tat stuff it was. Certainly wouldn't argue with the fact that there's not much to choose between them. Yeah, I'd just like Billy to tighten up a little bit when he's coming in on his attacks, because when he's throwing his shots, he's throwing them well, and when they're scoring, 
He's just getting caught a little bit on the on the odd counter, but he's just kept his nose in front, and that's what he's got to try and do now. Just tighten up, tighten his defences up a little bit, and then uh, let his shots go. So just a reminder, Billy Potter in the red for Merseyside and Cheshire. And uh, Paul Greenhorn boxing on behalf of the uh, Scotland side, wearing all blue. Again, a lovely hook from Billy. He took a left-hand counter at the same time, but good scoring shots from both lads. He just showed a little bit of bigger, 58 kilos. You see the difference in the power and strength of the lads. Yeah, still just... Uh, 14 and 15 years old, this pair. Just a few months between their birthdays. Just getting caught now with that left hand, Billy. He's, staying, he's keeping his feet planted. He's just got to move a little bit. Yeah, he took a good shot then in the midst of that from Greenhorn. Yeah, he's, just got to, he's just got to move his feet a little bit and just keep his tight. He's got his hands a little bit low there, and as soon as he's getting caught, he's got to try and keep his hands a bit higher. And when he's looking, he's waiting too long now for his attacks. He's waiting. Got to try and not let Greenall get into a rhythm. He's quite a nice boxer, Greenall. We're going to try not. Got to try and break his rhythm a little bit. And so he caught three shots there on the way in. And he's certainly keen to get at his man, is Billy Potter, but he does give away a few points certainly on the way in. He's just dropped his work rate a bit, Bill, now. He's just got to work that little bit harder. He's got to work it a little bit harder. If, he's, if he wants to take something from the contest, he's got to work. He can't be at that long range with this, this, this long salt, but he's got to get up close and work mid, mid and short range where he's most effective, where he was in the first round. There he is. He's effective. He's effective at short range, but then he's letting the lad get away. He's got to keep close. That's all range. Maybe just getting a bit frustrated at times in that round, Billy Potter. Yeah, I think so. Looking a bit tired going towards the end of the round. But maybe there's all the nervous energy from today. He's quite a fit lad, Bill. And he's he's 12, as we thought, Blues overtook now, gone into a 12-9 lead. And that's a fair reflection of the contest so far. Billy just giving him a little bit too much respect in that second round. As you say, he had his moments when he got... Uh close enough to shorten the distance between the two but generally Greenhorn scoring well there and particularly as Potter was on the way in he caught him almost every time that uh, Billy Potter made the first move yeah, he's got to start using if he can try and use some angles and come round the side he can't go straight onto this long south pod. he's got to come outside and inside him as much as he can Not holding back here. No, he's as I said at the, up, up at the top of the bout. Billy won't leave anything left in the ring. He will let everything go. He's got another kid with a massive, huge heart. Here we go. He needs to be working now. He's standing off a little bit too much. He's, he's probably just a bit wary of getting caught. for a minute he was going to switch his stance there he sort of fainted as though he was going to go south for a minute but uh, staying yeah, orthodox he's holding a little bit there now Bill he's, yeah the referee will give him a little caution he's not I say he's walked straight forward again onto a, a clean shot from his opponent he's going to try and move that head a little bit and he's caught another one Scott's on uh, a little bit of a roll at the moment. And uh, 
Paul Greenhorn looking to continue their hot streak if he can. Yeah, there's not been much scored in this last round. There's only a couple of hits, a couple each. And, uh, Billy just needs to work. He needs to work now over the last, last 20 seconds or so. Maybe try and pull a couple of points back. Yeah, let's see if he can impress the judges right at the end. No good lad. Just saw a couple of good shots there. Look. He's a little bit slow on his feet. He's got to get a little bit quicker to break that distance down. Yeah, he looks very tired, Bill. He must be all the nervous energy from today. He's a great kid. Again, big heart. Well, a good contest, and again, it'll be a pretty close call. But uh, Greenhorn, if the body language is anything to go by, is confident he's uh, held on to that uh, lead which he'd established by the end of the second, despite the best efforts of uh, Billy Potter. He scored with a couple of really good shots in that round, as you can see. They were trading blow for blow at one point. Once, once the Scottish lad got into his rhythm, he just, just, Thank just, you, was able to just straight Billy and, uh, keep for both boxes, please. <laughs> With a judges' score of 20, 11, the winner and 58 kilogram winner, Greenhorn in the blue corner. They did in fact stretch his lead over that last round. So Greenhorn completes a hat-trick for the Scots, who've reeled off three in a row now.